to vote or not to vote, or indeed what constitutes a vote, were questions raised in a recent Supreme Court hearing in which an Adelaide man, Anders Homdahl, challenged Australia's compulsory voting laws. In a rare move and in acknowledgement of the 20th anniversary of the founding of Flinders Law School, Justice Tom Gray agreed to hear the case at the university rather than in the court's usual home on Victoria Square. The law is based on precedent and precedent establishes that the Supreme Court may sit wherever it chooses and where it chooses then becomes its court. Precedent would suggest that community halls, gardens, judges' homes have all been used as courtrooms. The earliest and perhaps the most unusual courtroom recorded is the River Thames. An early Vice-Chancellor, whilst having his morning swim in the Thames, was approached by counsel, heard submissions and made a number of injunctive orders. The Thames was deemed to be his court. Consequently, I feel particularly comfortable with the invitation to sit in this moot court today. Flinders also broke new ground, with Justice Gray and the lawyers involved in the case agreeing to the filming of the proceedings by Adelaide's television networks and Flinders in Daly, a first for South Australia. So Flinders Moot Court, modelled to look like a courtroom and a key facility for training law students, became a real court for the day and gave students, staff and the public a first-hand view of the judicial system at work. Legal counsel for Mr Hondal and the Australian Electoral Commission presented their submissions and the question at the heart of the issue became clear. Does the Commonwealth Electoral Act, which grants a right to vote, also impose a duty to do so? Justice Gray reserved his decision and gave a clear indication that the case might ultimately have to be decided by the High Court of Australia. I propose to reserve my decision and... uh... I included that the possibility that uh, I might decide it's an appropriate matter to refer to a full court. If I were to adopt that course, I'd certainly uh, set up the facts and the submissions and the points of law for consideration. I wouldn't go on to express a view because in the event of it being referred to the full court, if possible, I would and join that court as a member of it. With the formal proceedings concluded, Justice Gray spent time answering questions from students and providing some personal insights into the law. It's a great opportunity for, the, for, for students and for staff at Flinders University Law School. The Supreme Court um, has given students an opportunity to actually see a case being argued. We're particularly lucky that the case we've got is an important public interest case. So our students will be able to say, I was there at an early part of this case and saw it being argued argued is a unique opportunity. In its 20 years of training young lawyers, Flinders University may also have played a part in shaping Australia's voting laws for generations to come.